There we go. Ah, Dave Fioni, we meet again. No, AKA Fenoy, Petra. Fenoy, not Fioni. <laughs> you're, oh. you're mixing me up with Dave Filoni, the director. Oh, sorry one. about that. It's Sometimes I just need to pronounce your name right. Yeah, you know what? I've done that myself with some people. What's going on? It's doing good like always, you know? Cool. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm such honored to finally meet you up. Again, my friend. I was going to say, because we, we've met before. You interviewed me uh, about a month or two ago. Actually, that was that was when June, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, so what's up? Let's get it going here, because I got about uh, half an hour max, and then I got to run. Yeah, I know. I have a lot of questions I wanted to ask you about. Okay. <clears throat> but um, here it goes. How does it feel about being a voice actor for animation? Well, you know, uh, anytime I think you accomplish some things that uh, you wanted, it, it it feels pretty good. Um, so yeah, I, I I love it. You know, there's uh, there's pluses and and minuses. Um, you know, uh, sometimes you're feeling really good because you book some things and you're working on some things, and sometimes you're a little uh, uh, worried because you didn't book some things, but. I've had a long, successful career, and uh, so, and I'm still working, so I feel great. I see. So that is how you became successful. And what was the first thing you did before you got into animated shows? Um. Well, I, you know, it's it's hard to pinpoint exactly okay. what got started. Uh, must have been mom coming through. No, uh, that's my babysitter, actually. Oh, okay. Sorry about uh, that. That's all right. Um, it's hard to pinpoint exactly uh, where you start in a career in voiceover, uh, especially animation. I think a lot of people will tell you when they were kids, they watched cartoons, they imitated the characters on those cartoons. I did that. Uh, some of them were real cut-ups in school. Some of them became people who could imitate voices of politicians and actors and their friends and family and so forth. Um, didn't do as much of that. But when I uh, got into radio, I think that's probably where uh, my first real training with animation that I was using it on a professional level came because I uh, I uh, was a morning man in San Francisco and uh, being the morning man, you, you've got lots of jokes and whatnot to do. So I created a cast of characters that I was the voice of uh, and that I would record every morning uh, and have conversations with. Uh, it was Harry O'Banion, private dick. Uh, and Lan Swisher, who was my entertainment uh, 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 reporter. So, so things like that. And uh, little by little, as I uh, got more into voiceover and decided to move to L.A., that's when things really uh, took off. And uh, I was doing some characters in Captain Planet. I had a cartoon series, uh, uh, Pro Stars, where I played Bo Jackson. Um, uh, and a number of other uh, small parts and smaller things. Uh, I was uh, Dick Scott, uh, the the uh, the manager of New Kids on the Block and the New Kids on the Block cartoon. Uh, and along the way, uh, video games were beginning, and I got a lot of parts in those. I see. So that's why you were chosen to be playing Tetrax for. For Ben 10. Well, like most people in this business, I auditioned. Uh, they liked the audition and I got booked. <laughs> well, I see that. Yeah. Would and that was a uh, Tetra. I, I really enjoyed that character, Tetrax. Would you mind if you show me that care your voice of that character? All right, Ben. It's me, Tetrax. Let's not do anything stupid. I'm coming to the rescue. You know, that that kind of stuff. I see. <laughs> That's why I like about you. Because you know that, remember when I, you know, the remember that last time I told you that I have autism? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because for the last few months, I've been interviewing a lot of voice actors lately. Like uh, 
Jim Maskaman, and most importantly, you know who I get to interview on Tuesday? Who's that? David Sobolov. Oh, I love David Sobolov. Uh, great guy, great voice actor, and uh, a friend of mine. Yes, we both interviewed each other on Tuesday, and he was impressed about the way I am, get, that I've been interviewing all of his friends for months, and that, you know who's the very reason why I want to interview you and everybody? Well, who's that? The man named Chris Mayek. He's a Facebook friend of mine who interviews uh -huh. like a lot of voice actors of anime, such as uh, Corey Walgren, Yuri Lewenthal, Tara Platt, many others. Oh, he's, hit, he's hitting some great talent there. <sighs> it made me very jealous that, that I've been trying <laughs> to work my ways to, to get in touch with a lot of people. Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if jealousy is is the best motivation, but I uh, <laughs> but all I know is that because that's why I need all those voice actors' help. Some of them who accepted my friend request to gain others' attention to me and my interviews that I've done for months. So I'm I'm part of your master plan to take over the voiceover interviewing universe. Well, to be honest, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure everyone knows of me as a, because I'm not like other fans. I'm just a guy who's experienced of voice acting. I've studied them for years and wanted to let everyone know I've studied all of their voices and practiced and worked so that one day when I finally become a voice actor, I will prove to everyone just how good I am. You'll be able to do us all. Yes. Well, let, let me hear your Dave Fenoy. Dave Fenoy. So, <laughs> would you expect enough talk? Stop the countdown. Is that how they sound like? Do you really think you can possibly let the Omnitrix self destruct like this? I can't allow it to happen. Oh, Not boy. You, ha you have been watching Ben 10, that's for sure. <laughs> Not only Ben 10, but I also played video games that you are in. Yeah. Right now. Mass Effect. Oh, there's a lot of them, yeah. Yeah, because you you once had a Facebook video about you getting in touch with uh, Jennifer Hale, which the one true person I've always wanted to interview with. Since she's been liking my Twitter posts on, Insta on Twitter, and speaking uh -huh. of that, I really wanted you to follow me on Instagram and Twitter since, you know, I've been tagging you and all those stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, I... I not sure if I did or not. You did uh, I don't. Actually. I don't. I don't spend a lot of time on Instagram um, and, or Twitter, for that matter. I have Instagram and a Twitter account. I'm just not on them a lot. I know. It's just uh, the last time I saw you interviewing, getting interviewed by one of my Instagram friends, Jammer TV interviews. Okay. Well, I've done a lot of interviews. I don't remember that one exactly, but, uh, but a distinct possibility. You may not remember, but I remembered very well because I've seen it with my own eyes. And I thought, boy, that did, dude sure got in touch with my friend on, on Facebook. <laughs> yes. but speaking of that, about the video games, however, about mm -hmm. Mass Effect, how did you get auditioned to be part of the mass effect series. well you know it's it's a real simple answer i have an agent uh actually agents uh but my agent sent me an audition to play the role uh and i auditioned sent it in and got an email back hey you you got the role you're working on such and such a day playing this character it was as simple as that yes i get that and that's good I'm loving it because you know what the game Mass Effect remind me of? What's that? It reminds me of my uncle Daniel Mayer because every time I see the game, it reminds me of him, which he's in California right now becoming a doctor. Good for him. And you know who I got in touch with the last time from a Mass Effect game? Who's that? The voice of Thane Kratos, Keith Farley. Oh, okay. no, Keith, good buddy of mine. Yep. He was so glad to finally meet me. And I did an interview with him, actually. And he was impressed about the accomplishments that I've been working for months. That all I wanted to do was get in touch with everybody in, on Facebook and everything. 
including Steve Bloom, Mary Elizabeth McGellan, and many others. Oh yeah, because well, you're 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 hitting uh, the upper echelon of voiceover talent, especially in video games and cartoons. So yeah. what, what's going on with your dog there? Uh, I'm sorry. It's oh no, it's not. I'm a I'm a dog person. My father was a veterinarian. A veterinarian. I love dogs, um, but uh, I know when they're barking, they're trying to tell you something. Yeah. But I, I think uh, he's quiet now. Yeah. What kind of dog do you have? Uh, they're Vishlas. Oh, okay. Sometimes they just, sometimes they just annoy me. You know, to be honest. Well, you know, um, because when it comes to having autism, uh, things can be a little bit complicated. Sometimes it's 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 hard to uh, stay in control. I I have a number of autistic friends and uh, family members, uh, kids of friends of mine, um, and it it can be a challenge for the parents and the person. Uh, I see. That. Because um, I have uh, other questions. Like, um, for example, I've heard you once in the in that video game I played called Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You were the voice of Rodin, right? How? Do uh, yeah. Well, yeah. In uh, Bayonetta. Yep. How How do you like the role of of that? Of I the, love the that character. character. He's so He's so cool, Bayonetta baby. That's right. <laughs> That's yeah, I, love, I, love, I love playing Bayonetta. He's a great character. And yeah, I've also heard you from a lot of roles. Um, like you, you like playing the character Koroth in Guardians of the Galaxy, correct? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For the, and those who don't remember, that was the Jaiman Hansu part from the movie. Oh, oh yeah. Now I, now I get it, man. That's why you are just one perfect thing to, for Koroth, because although he does. He was played by Digimon Hansu in the show What If. Yeah. Remember that show What If? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember it, too. It's where my friend Fred Tatashore was in it. Uh, another buddy of mine and another one of uh, voiceover and video games greats, Fred T. Yep. I do his voice like this. My name is Fred Tatashore, and I like to do all voices like Rip Joss from Big Ten, Cannon Bolt from. He, ha he has done so many crazy, deep, monster, uh, evil villain voices, uh, which I know can be harder. That I, I'm sometimes surprised. T Fred, you still talking? You still have a voice? You haven't ripped it up yet? But no, he's just amazing. Oh, I'm Fred. Because he actually does in the recent show, such as a uh, Arcarney League of Legends, and does in in the uh, oh the movie Injustice, yeah, where he and Yuri Lowenthal were in it. Ah, uh, Yuri Lowenthal, and not once again another great. I love I love Yuri's uh, portrayal of of Spider Man. <laughs> well, yep, I do heard you in that game. Which I've known about that game for years. Yeah, which you were in it as the what was that character's name you once? It was at? Howard, and he was the pigeon guy. Oh, Howard! Right, right, right. Now I remember. Yeah, because I actually search up your voices, you know, because I'm. You know what I'm doing for you, buddy? I have no idea. Sending I'm, me money? <laughs> actually, no, I'm not sending you money. But actually, I was gonna. I'm making a voice showcase video for you as a special tribute for being very awesome. Oh, wow. That's very nice of you. I hope, well, send it to me when you get it done. Oh, I will. That's why I'm always working on my YouTube videos, you know, just mm -hmm. to make sure they look awesome, you know? Yeah. Because by the time I'm done with it, that's where I send it out to, to all of my voice actor friends, a special tribute. Well, fantastic. Fantastic. Because you know which video I'm making right now? I have no idea. I'm making a video for David Subalov of his voice showcase to oh. represent him of his vid interview with me as special tribute. Yeah. Because he's a great guy, actually, to be yeah, honest. He is. Hey, hey, listen, you know, I've got something I got to take care of now. A phone call that just came through that I need to return. 
Okay. Um, but I really appreciate your getting in touch and, and doing the interview and uh, somewhere down the road, we can do it again. Oh, okay. And one more thing. One thing. Before you yeah. go, you know what this, we're doing this zoom meeting for. What's that? My YouTube video that I'm doing for the, since I've interviewed a lot of people and the audience are seeing this right now. So um, would you mind if you tell everyone the, what you, what they have to do in order to get in touch with you? If you don't mind. No, nah, no. Uh, well, you can uh, reach me on Facebook, uh, Dave Fenoy on Facebook. Uh, Instagram is Dave Fenoy. Twitter is Dave Fenoy. Uh, so I'm, I'm fairly easy to find. And my website is DaveFenoy.com. Uh, if you're somebody interested in learning how to do voiceover, you can just click the study VO tab. And uh, right now there's a holiday sale on uh, packages of uh, coaching sessions. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, I'm actually doing voice acting classes right now. Oh, who are you working with? David Rosenthal of Global Rosenthal. Voice Acting Academy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, tell Dave I said hello. But listen, I got to run, and uh, so I will talk to you next time, okay? It's an honor to finally meet you, and I'll see you around in Facebook and, and Instagram or in Twitter, of course, if there that helps, go. though. All right. I'll see you around, dude, and I'll, see you. I'll let All the you best. know. And happy Thanksgiving. You too, my friend, and tell your family I said hello. Will do. Will do. All the best, Sebastian. You too. Bye-bye.